That is just freaking mental. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing where you join me in where I am in a very different location. I have just arrived in Devon. Yep, Devon is it basically is in the middle of nowhere. Um, and I'm here for a very, very exciting video. Behind me, you can see we have a Mustang. Not that long ago, I said that my friend Harry Tinknell went and bought a Ford GT. Well, today, I'm going to be introducing this car to you today because he's just taken delivery of it. And the moment he told me, he was like, you need to get down here and you need to come and see my Ford GT. So we've made it happen and we're gonna go down and see this car. He he is a Ford GT driver racing in the World Endurance Championship, which makes this whole thing even cooler. Let me bring him in. Go on, mate. Here he is. Hey, guys. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you mean about Devon being in the middle of nowhere, though. Wow. Well, this is where it all happens. Guys. I'm used to London, mate. You've got your Ford GT. We have, mate. We have. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Just... Is it mad? Oh, I mean, to have, you know, the opportunity to race the, you know, yeah. the race car at Le Mans, and then be able to drive that same chassis, same engine, on the roads of Devon. <laughs> It's mad. And this is your day-to-day -day yeah. beast. Yeah, yeah, mate. I'm, yeah, I'm very lucky. I mean, get to, uh, you know, the sort of run of the of the Ford sort of catalogue. So it's got to be a Mustang, really, hasn't it? I don't, don't know what else you'd really go for. Maybe an RS. But, uh, yeah, I, I love this bit of kit. So you got this is your day-to-day -day thing. And then you got yeah. your Ford GT. So I ra raced for the team since uh, 2016. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was racing the LMP1 before. Uh, and LMP2, Casual uh, LMP1. <laughs> But then that program, that LMP1 program, came to an end in December 2015. That really last minute, kind of unexpected. So, kind of myself and my manager, Alan Manish, were like... Alan Manish, one of them on as well. Yeah, he's a good <laughs> lad. He knows what he's talking about. So I managed to secure the drive for the first three races of the season, ending in Le Mans. And uh, we did well, and I managed to turn that into a two-year deal, and now a four-year deal. And uh, yeah, so halfway through that 16 season, the allocation start was announced for the Ford GT. So I did the process, 16 pages, I think it was, of, uh, <laughs> of uh, application. And you form. got one! And we got one, so we're going to see it today. Do you enjoy your Mustang, mate? Hey, it's nice bit of gear. I mean, it turns heads as, heads as well. I was just saying yeah, that. We just came heads. to a traffic light and everyone was like, look, it's Mustang. Yeah. I was like, you wait, it's a Ford GT at <laughs> home, mate. <laughs> Literally. I mean, the thing is, they see that, uh, they see that horse and they think, and a, and a red, red car, they go, it must be a Ferrari, you know? They yeah. See that. Don't see many of them down in Devon, you know. Yeah, so, especially uh, down here. Um, yeah. Go on, how, how many miles have you done in this then? Yeah, nearly ten thousand actually. Um, you know, going up and back to Silverstone quite a lot to see the team and everything. Um, got, uh, you know, very lucky obviously to have, you know, a road car. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's just, yeah, the race this car. is the daily, yeah, and obviously yeah, the GT is just insanely special. A weekend, uh, a weekend warrior. <laughs> arrived and it is time to go and see Harry's Ford GT. So this is going to be very cool. That Mustang was a lovely drive. You excited to show me mate? I'm pretty, pretty buzzed about this, yeah. It is cool. When, you, when we go and see where your Ford GT is, this is chaos. Don't worry about the plant pots. It's just how there's plant pots down here. <laughs> we got plant pots down here. Oh yes. Right here. Mate. This is in your garage. There's seven in the UK and there's one of them in Devon. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. Mate, this is ridiculous. Have you driven it yet? Mate, this is my baby, by the way. And we're going to do a cold start as well, aren't we? We're going to do it. It's like, what, oh. nine, nine degrees or something this morning? So oh, like, mate. More plant well, let's pots. Let's come in here sometimes. It's just stroke <laughs> I know. Well, you can see it from your kitchen. Yeah, you too. It's your... <laughs> You just walked downstairs this morning. I was like, arch. Oh. He literally said to me, "Come down here," and he was washing up his pots. And then he said, "Come and have my Ford GT." Anyway, <laughs> so it's under here. Oh, mate, that is a nice colour as well. Yeah, I like the, orange know, liquid, calipers. Liquid grey, orange calipers. You know, carbon wheels. We went in on the spec, dude. We went in. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. Right. Should we, let's take these covers off. Let's, it's like a new reveal. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Look Let's at this start. bad boy. Oh, there they are. Oh, mate, this colour is nice. It's only the liquid grey. Oh, gorgeous, mate. 
Oh, she's on charge? She's on charge. Mate. She's ready to go. Oh, this... Honestly, when I was like specking it, I wanted to come and kind of see oh. the different colours in person. Yeah. And when, as soon as I saw this, I went to see Stephen Armstrong to see her Europe. Yeah. I went to see his, his car and I was like, it's done. So it's just... Look at all this. Look at the lights. They are just mental. Here we go, sports fans. It's time to open the garage. It's such a nice day where we are, in Devon. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to do a nice, cold start. I've never heard one of these on a cold start as well, so I've got no idea what it's going to sound like. Come in, squad. Come in. Come in. Come in to where she sits. I'm very excited. Oh, yes. Here she is. Look at that. That is sick. Well, yeah, <laughs> mate, it's just a nice noise. Let's get this car outside. Come on, look at this. Look at that. That is just unreal. Look at that. That is absolutely mental. one of my friends has ever bought. That is utterly absurd. I was just saying, that's the coolest car one of my friends has ever bought. <laughs> that is just freaking mental. Mate. That's just like them. <laughs> that is sick. Mate, you drive that through London, it's chaos. Mate, you'll cause carnage in that thing. Mate, imagine the lanes of Devon. <laughs> yeah, the lanes of Devon. The spec you've gone for is the best one I've ever like seen. Like yeah, it? it's the best one I've ever seen. Honestly, you sent me pictures of it, and you were like, that this is it, and I was like, that is absolutely unreal. And then you see that colour in person, and I think it makes you appreciate just how good it really is in person. Honestly, and that's like, you see them in photos and stuff. I saw, originally I wanted the blue one, and then when I saw the blue one at Goodwood, I was like, maybe I'm... You've seen a lot of that one. Yeah, and the yellow one as well. And then like I say, when I saw Steve's up in, uh, when his first came, I was like, this is the one. You just knew, I just knew straight away this was the one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I like a bit of modification, so don't just modify your car. <laughs> but can you imagine a little subtle window tent? Yeah. Carbon uh, gloss trim on the on the front and on the on the side. So that the uh, the carbon gloss trim's yeah, an option. Exactly. And on the on the um, skirt down the side here. Gloss yeah. Carbon carbon wheels. Um, are they? How much are they as an option? Quite a lot. Uh, I know, fourteen thousand. Yeah, they're not. Are you kidding? Nothing's Fourteen. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Painted uh, calipers, that's an option. We've gone for the dark energy upgrade inside as well, which is um, exposed carbon on the on the seals, the leather seats as well. That was a reasonably big option too. Liquid grey as well was a was an upgraded sort of palette. So is that is that not... Because you, you have a few different colours, don't you, that I mean, come yeah, with like, the car? Yeah, like four or five different options and then... Um, there's a few like, upgraded options, and then you can actually have any colour in the palette that you want. Which are like Literally. thousands and thousands yeah. if you want I mean, more. you could have the, you know, the colour, you just send them that top and, and say, mean? Larry, I, mean, <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want it! <laughs> Put it in there, yeah. yeah. But I don't, I don't even want, want to yeah. think how much that is, but yeah. Yeah, so there is every single option which you could get, and the base price of these cars you said was roughly 480,000, yeah. but no one has specced one to 480,000. <laughs> Everyone sort of has gone all in because they're so unique. Like they, they're, there's only going to be a limited run car, so if you have the option, you, the application process is so brutal that the people that like there's like seven cars in England. Yeah. If yeah. you get one, I think everyone that's got one has gone all in on the spec. Absolutely. And like for me personally, I mean, obviously this is the road version of the race car, so it's the same tub, same engine as what we raced at the moment. When, you know, when we took it up the hill at, the, at uh, Goodwood. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Yeah, you in the passenger seat. Yeah, you were going for it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, I got that. <laughs> this car is mental. Oh my goodness. Harry is on it. Look at this. Oh, go. <laughs> my first run up and like halfway up the hill I felt at home in the car I was pushing flat out you I tell you what you did say I remember just remember just what you said when you were 
at Spa and you took Paul Wallace round in the Ford GT oh, yeah, and then you went round in the Ford GT race car. You said that impressed you so much. Unbelievable. That it was just like, oh, Rouge was just like, unreal. Well, I literally drove, you know, the road car around an hour before the before qualifying and I was braking 10 metres earlier in the road car with a passenger on road tyres compared to what I was braking that in, is in the race car. And on we, qualify, in qualifying, in qualifying spec. Yeah. And we qualified on pole, so it wasn't as if we were like messing around. What we're going to do, so we're going to put it in track mode, and then it just drops the car. How quick? Very quick. Instantly, all you'll see is that. Right, go on then. I, I love this, because it literally just goes boom. We're ready. Once he's got the key, we'll, uh, we will proceed. Uh, we'll cut that. No, we're not cutting anything. We're ready. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my god. God, it runs low now. Up, and then go back down. <laughs> yeah. Normal mode back on. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Where did you do that? So the, the buttons you have yeah. on here, like, it's... So it's kind of like similar with set up to the, to the real life steering wheel, obviously, like literally everything on, on the on the race car is like similar on here. But yeah, we've basically got the modes here. So we this little sort of rotary. So VMAX mode is like wing down. Yeah, uh, you see that there. Track use only, obviously. Yeah. Wet mode, you know, just. Uh, what does wet mode do? Just limit that, the traction control. And stuff like, yeah, like that. more TC. Yeah. Um, like a much smoother like, throttle pedal, so you don't spin the wheels up too much. Normal mode, just for normal driving. Sport mode, is like stiffen suspension up a little bit. Uh, yeah. A bit more reactive on the throttle pedal. Then track mode, obviously, we've seen that already. Drops the. Uh, does that does that change the right like the. Yeah, around a track, it makes it much more impressive. Honestly, dude, so like in the race car, two millimeters uh, on the front ride height makes a massive difference in terms of grip levels. And that, how much are you dropping on this? We drop it 50. Yeah. <laughs> dude, honestly, if my engineer said it's uh, the racetrack, we're going to drop the car 50 mil, that would be like transforming it into an absolute rocket ship. So, like, on, yeah. honestly, on the track, two mil is a huge difference in like front grip or rear yeah. grip. So 50 is just like a different car. Mate, this must be surreal, the fact that you've got this. Mate, this Come is, on. mad, yeah. Absolutely mad. I'm like, I don't know. It's just, it's like a culmination of a career's work, but the I career's mean, hopefully. I know we're in the started. middle of Devon, but if you, if anyone saw this just rolling round. Well, the neighbor's about to see us. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sorry, I've just had a delivery. I've just got a Ford GT. <laughs> you've won Le Mans as well. Let's not forget, you've won Le Mans and, uh, well, I'm glad, you know, we've been pals since it all started, you know, Formula the yeah, karting. you've made it, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Drive to Le Mans in your Ford GT, win Le Mans, then drive back in your Ford GT, then just, just retire. <laughs> <laughs> because there's nothing more at that point. You're offering to come as a passenger there, though. Happily. Door going up. Yeah, thank you. I'm so happy for Harry. It's an amazing achievement. Obviously, an amazing achievement for one to be racing for Ford at Le Mans. Not only that, to get an allocation on a Ford GT and, you know, for him to take delivery of this and own what is such an amazing car. Come on, mate, in you get. Bigging me up here. <laughs> Big, I'm bigging, bigging him up. And, yeah, you must be so happy. It's yeah, just ridiculous. Honestly, every time I see it, it just puts a massive smile on my face. And you're going to use it. That's yeah, the course, thing. Mate. You're going to yeah. use this. I mean, ideally, ideally, I'm going to retire at 40 and I'll be able to look back and yeah. uh, have this car. I can say, I think, Whatever I do in my career, like driving for Ford at Le Mans, you know, we finished second there last year, hopefully we can win next year. You know, it's gonna be a huge part of it. And so to like have the actual engine and same chassis that you'll have it for the rest of your life. In your garage, yeah. That'd be yeah. You can put it back in there, your plants and your pots, and you can just uh, <laughs> you know what? Look out your kitchen. You know. <laughs> yeah, you can look out your kitchen and see that every day. You've you've won. What I will do is I will leave all of Harry's social media down below, your Instagram and everything else. So follow his journey and uh, support his journey and Ford's journey and everything else. And uh, yeah, go and do that. It's all down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all very soon.